What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to West of Loathing. So, last time, we didn't do a whole lot. We started doing stuff. Oh, like, I got a nasty ring. Um, and, yeah, stuff like that. So, let's start. Let's offer whiskey. Nurse whiskey. <laughs> Didn't know she makes house calls. All right, hold on. <clears throat> whiskey. She's diet. She cracks open the whiskey and fills a small flask she takes out of her pocket. Then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Jeez, Doc. That doesn't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here, me or you? Okay, point taken. <laughs> Check out the books. We can now speak Goblin Tongue. <clears throat> oh, hey, look at that. Make like a tree and leaf. Hey, perfect. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, is everything alright? It depends how fast I can get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. I can't talk and drink at the same time, so... <clears throat> what's the matter, Doc? The whole world's gone to hell in a horse cart. You ask what's the matter? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one and I'll drink to that dead man walking. You haven't seen it? Corpses and skeletons staggering around like puppets with half their strings cut looking to take a bite out of the living? Oh yeah, there was a skeleton at the cemetery. <clears throat> It's nice to get some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. But how is that even possible? It isn't possible. It goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't get back up. Patients. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Every doctor loses one now and again. You never get used to it, but, well, it happens. But what doesn't happen is them coming back afterwards and looking for revenge. It must be pretty rough. Buddy, I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients, it's neighbors, friends, husbands. Oh, um, indeed. She turns away from you and focuses her attention back on the bottle. <coughs> um, wow, shouldn't these be further away from the fireplace? Well, uh, let's go map. Actually... Would do this. Are you Susie Cochrane? How'd you know my name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. <clears throat> I saw it happen. Whole damn thing and couldn't do nothing about it. Bartender said it was cows. Cows, right? I don't know what those things are, but they aren't cows. Not anymore. What happened? It was a raid. See, Ma and Pa used to ranch cattle back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left me the place when she passed. <clears throat> well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked a couple days ago. It happened so fast, I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cow smashed in the front door, and fire started out back by the root cellar. House went up in blazes, just like that. There wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because the f of the fire, and I saw Tim trapped right in front of me. I just, I ain't want to talk about it anymore. She fills her mug from a bottle on the bar and doesn't reply. <clears throat> what will you do now? Head west, I suppose. Nothing keeping me here. No desire to stay. Can't leave without my rifle, though. It's Ma's rifle. It's all I got left of, of anybody. Left at the ranch. I'll get it. Pardon me as I stupidly walk out of the bar. There we go. <clears throat> All the water in this trough is boiled away. I'm pretty sure if I get poked enough. There we go. Mostly scabs. That's what I wanted. And here we 
go. And that's what the cow looks like. The pies were not safe. Ooh, vermin skin and knife. That's better. I mean, it's not better, better, but it'll have to do. <clears throat> this thing looks angry. You're not going to make it to that safe without dealing with it. Well, let's deal with it. <laughs> right, let's get beefy. And attack. Oh, I'm just on fire. It won't matter. Woohoo! Muscle level 3. You know, I think the best, my favorite thing about this game is you don't have to heal in between fights and stuff. You basically just. Like, it's the same for every single. That's not what I wanted. Um, let's go to, uh, let's work on the horses before I get back here. Yeah, let's, let's attack the snake. Oh, my muscle did get up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, ouch. <laughs> you will deal 11 to 12 damage. I got this. Snake looks really angry. You're gonna need every trick in the book to beat this one. Well, I am good at tricks. Oh, this is... Nothing. Oh, look at that. Moxie leveled up to two. Hey, it's crazy eyes. Our friend, okay? Nerer! It's cool, though. Right? Be cool. Don't freak out at me. When they Look him in the eyes. Calmly look the horse in the eyes, one of them is fixed in a glassy thousand year stare, and the other is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to up uh, to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little now that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders though. Okay. Pat his nose. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit, okay, a lot, but seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes. Or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around that skull of his. That's a good boy. Nerg! Feed him the oats. Are you hungry, boy? I've got a little treat for you. Snurf. Feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats. And it gallops away with Winnie, or rather, Winnow Girl. Hopefully, he's headed home and not into the 12th dimension. Cool. Uh, okay, I could just travel from here. Sorry. Um, or hold mine. I get that mug. Unrefined meat nugget. <laughs> Can't get past the rubble. Pick the lock. I got a crowbar. Uh, we'll 
we'll go plungers. Got both kinds of plungers. <laughs> plungers. The sign lied. There's only one kind of plunger. Come on. a blasting cap we'd be in real trouble got the blasted cap okay you succeed in putting yourself in grave danger press the plunger kaboom I'll just ice skate my way in silver nugget hey there girl it's okay I'm a friend Winnie. The horse shies away from you, though in this case it's more like cripplingly introverted introverts away from you. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Look, I brought some oats for you. They aren't poison or anything. In retrospect, I guess that wasn't a very comforting thing to say. Feed her some oats. <laughs> Here you go, yum yum. Sorry. She sides away from you warily and makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding in her own shadow. Come on, please. As you reach out to pat her nose, the horse, duck, the horse ducks and steps further back into the shadows. Come on. Hey, eat those yourself. Take a handful of the bag and toss them in your mouth. Ugh, that's the roughest, blindest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. Still, it's better than dry cat food. Don't ask. <laughs> <coughs> you smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Jeez, these are powerful. Horse looks at you warily as you re-enter with a cheerful wave. See, perfectly fine. Feet of the oats. Here you go. Sorry. Uh, it's, she doesn't actually flee. That's a good thing. There's a good girl. Feet of the oats. Horse finally seems relaxed enough around you, so you offer her a handful of the oats. Warily, begrudgingly, she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. You turn around to look, but you don't see anything. When you turn back, she's gone. Okay, then. <clears throat> you bend down and shine your lantern into a crack in the rock. You can just barely make out a square shape down there, down in there. Well, out of arm's reach. It looks like somebody dropped a small metal box into the hole. Though you don't know if... If that's... Wow, I just lost my place. Uh, though you don't know if that was to hide it or discard it. If you're truly desperate to find out what's in there, you could try reasoning with the rock. Your primary argument would be a bundle of dynamite. Perhaps you could persuade the hold wide enough to grab the box. Yeah, about that. Start by getting me. I don't know how you spot her hiding that mine, but thanks. Looks like a pale horse made it back safe. Thanks for your help. Thanks for finding my crazy horse. He was eating local weed again, wasn't he? Not that I noticed. That's all of them. Can't thank you enough. Here's a little extra for you. Afternoon, sir. Just browsing things. Wasn't exactly looking to. Found these mugs. There's another 100 meat. Uh huh. Pete Nose takes a swig of whiskey and Pete Nose is a nugget of silver you found earlier. I'll sell him that nugget. And I'll sell him that underfined ore. Listen, get all this stuff with. I've been trying to, you've been spending time underground, ain't you? Well, you listen to old Pete's advice. You stay out of ore hole if you know what's good for you. There's stuff down on the 40th level that ain't worth messing with for a fella who wants to keep his eyes if you catch my meaning. Not sure I do, but thanks. Um, the, uh, I've got three rattler skins. Silver pocket watch. I know what's on the 40th level. It is a hard hat. In other words, a hat that makes the game 
on hard mode. <coughs> Wake him up, just shoot him, ignore him. Let me just be all... Hey, recovered mug, and a pair of silver cufflinks. Oh, now I'm gonna drag my butt. And that's not what I meant to do, but okay. Uh, that was in the bathtub. Time up. Let sleeping bandits lie. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to ask him to pass some soap. <clears throat> Cautiously approach the Ficker gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You had about a barrel and eavesdrop on the conversation for a while. One with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather his name is Snipe. And the squirrely one is his brother, Wimpy. What you play here? Approach them and talk. How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? What do you want? Under arrest. Boys, I'm taking you in in the name of the justice. Oh yeah, by you and what army? Actually, oh, cool. Unseen other member of the Frick gang sneaks up behind you and knocks you unconscious. Ow. At least they were kind enough to drag you outside after the beating. Cool. I'll show you the door, door to hell. Okay, then a fight it is. All right, I didn't exactly plan on doing this, but oh, okay. I attacked the wrong one first. Alright, let's go for the only option I didn't do. It's Bimmy. Bimmy, you ain't Bimmy. Uh, sure I yeah, am. Ask me any. I'm so Bimmy, I stole some Rube's face. Ah, you always said have a knack for face rustling. What's new, Bimmy? Gotta get out of here and fast. Dang nab it. Come on, Snipe. Let's hightail it. I'll catch up. Whippy nods. He and Snipe are hurried. Hurriedly pack up their belongings and flee the cave. You congratulate yourself on your attentiveness, memory, and strong interpersonal skills. Grit level three. Let's grab the door and skedaddle. And get another mug. Hey, look at that. 50 meat. I, I didn't expect that, but let's okay. I almost forgot about the goblin shots. I'm Gary. Or, hi, Gary. Hi, hi, hello, hello. I'm Gary. Who are you? Well, I'm Crowd Eddie. Hello, hello, Crowd Eddie. Good to meet you. What Crowd Eddie doing down here? Well, Gary, to be honest, the bartender sent me down here to to kill you. Hey, what? That's being a terrible idea. Bartender not being a good idea, man. Gary wants to popping, but not here. Too close. Too close to home. Gary wants to popping far away and high away. New Gary is everywhere, everywhere. Settle down. Gary doesn't like to settling. Uh, okay, so I guess I could bring Gary with me if I wanted. I already turned in the mugs. I see the Fricker gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You hand the sheriff his door and he hangs it back on his hinges. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell is just about four times more secure. Are there any Fricker boys left? Yeah, one or two that'll sleep on the job. I'll go round them up shortly. Looks like I owe you a reward. Got another little task for you. You got the time? Be a lot simpler. What you need? Oh, the Frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. 
keep an eye out. I'll just roll my way through here. Rub it up, dub. Nope. That's a no go. I can't help you. I messed up. Ah, it should be everything. <coughs> mm. I'll go with the spooky pale one. It's a good horse if you like the sort of thing. Sell her for 1,000 me. You know, spooky stuff. Spooky stuff? I don't want to get into particulars. Let's just say she sets a certain tone. I'll take her. Give her a name. Not gonna be Tina. Uh. Timoth. Yes. Alright then, Timoth the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. Southeast West Map. Thanks. At least it doesn't have the north. Once you leave Born Springs, you won't be able to come back. Any unfinished business uh, on second thought. Let's make sure. All right. I turned in all the mugs. Yeah, I don't get a few other things, but hey, what you gonna do? Alrighty. Yes, uh... Ooh. I almost forgot. Wait. I can't... Alright, so... Yeah, um... Yep, here she is. Thanks, Ranger. I didn't catch your name. Crow Daddy. Can't rightly say what this means to me. The rifle. Well, that's enough. While I'm under misery, time for me to hit the road. If you want me to take along when you head west, you just say the word. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna take Crazy Pete. Hit the trail. Up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience points for you. I'm happy to keep doing it, and I promise to give you a nice, well-rounded experience. Shall I keep it, or would you prefer to decide to yourself where your XP gets spent? You can always change this later. Uh, start spending it manually. Okay. You now have the option of turning yourself into some kind of unbalanced weirdo if you want. Open your character screen when you want to spend XP. It's all the southwest map the hostler gave you. One well, of those two things, Town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company's westernmost camp. Discovered a new map location. Okay, yeah. Head for Dirtwater. What's happening, Pete? Well, now, if, if you're interested in mining and such, I happen to know a little mine not too far from here. Okay. Is it a good one? Ain't never been. Well, I'll have to, ex we'll have to explore to find out. Ooh. Snake Pit Mine. Well, now, if you're in a hurry to push west, I'd say train will get you us. Train will get us there might faster than horseback. You got a railroad camp marked on your map. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I am going to end this episode off here. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of, well, anything. I'm posting a lot of stuff right now. So, as always, I will see you in the next one.